All right, I have, I have this nice winter holding water run here. It's, it's deep enough and slow enough that it's got some fish in it. I just caught a nice brown trout right here. Uh, but it's got this nice overhanging tree here. Lots and lots of branches. In fact, there's a few rigs sitting out there already <laughs> from other people who've lost them in the tree. So how do you walk into a, a run like this and get your cast under the tree where you want it to go? Well, we've talked about a few options in some of our films before, but there's one that I, uh, a couple I wanted to cover today, which I've talked about in my book a fair bit. One is called the helicopter cast. Um, and I don't remember specifically if I covered it in the book, but there's also a sidearm cast, which you can make into a helicopter if you need to. And depending upon what's behind you, you may have to adjust your cast one way or another. Um, in a true helicopter cast, I'm gonna start, I'm basically gonna make the, a shape with my cast like a helicopter rotor. So I'm gonna start here, come around, and end back in the same place. Instead of ending upstream, pointing upstream, I'm coming around a quarter turn, but my flies are still landing up there. And what that does is it, I'm tracing my rod around the path that I can actually go without my flies hanging any, uh, on anything. So I start low below the tree, kind of come up around, and I start back under, and that's gonna direct my flies where I want to go. So lots and lots of wrist, and the rod needs to start low, come around, kind of peek behind you, and go in. Now, I've got a bunch of trees here, so I'm gonna have to go a little more vertical than I normally would with this, but let's see if we can make it happen. All right, I start short, I right here, I come around like this, and I make my oval cast really exaggerated, and I stop a quarter turn downstream. So let me show you that again. So normally you might see someone stop like this, just directly up, or quartering upstream. I'm continuing that oval a quarter turn like that. And that drops the fly downstream a little bit more, but it also ends up dropping it out into the main current where I'm trying to get under the tree. Let's do that again. So I make my cast and I go a quarter of a cast downstream and that time I really got it under there deep. Exactly where I wanted to go. And if you, the, the more sidearm you make it, and the more you kick your rod across the river at the end of the cast, the more you can get your fly to penetrate under whatever obstacle you've got. So I've got that tree there. I can go three, four feet back uh, behind the extended branches here by kicking that rod across the river as well when I make that final cast. All right, so that's the helicopter cast. The other thing that I can do here is sort of use a combination of that plus a sidearm or a, a water load cast. So if, if I put the water load down here, I've got to make it about 180 degrees from where I want my flies to go. So if I need it to go that way, I actually have to dump my fly back behind me a little bit, which I don't really have much room to do. But you can't start your water load directly downstream like that and then expect it to go across the river if that's where you need to go has to go about 180 degrees from your eventual target. So when I make this water load, I'm gonna dump it in the water right behind me, and then use that load to make that cast upstream. And you can either go sidearm like I just did, and I'll show you that one more time. So I dump it, and I come sideways, and I use my thumb here to direct the rod tip in the path that I can get through safely under the tree. And now I'm under that tree and I'm drifting. The other thing you can do is start with a, a water load like that and then turn it into a bit of a helicopter cast as well. So let's try that. Come around. And now I've done the same thing, but I've avoided those bushes behind me, which would ca uh, catch on my back cast. So if you've got a lot of obstructions in your back cast, branches, other trees, as well as something out in front of you you're trying to avoid, then a water load version of that helicopter cast is a good way to go, or a sidearm. 
So if it's a bridge that I'm trying to shoot under here, I've got to go sidearm with the water load. If it's something like this tree, then I can go helicopter and really try and trace it back under that, that tree like I just did. And I went a long ways under there without getting close to hooking up. The key with either of these casts is that your rod has to trace a path that avoids your obstruction. So if your rod tip at all goes in the direction of where your branches are, your fly is going to end up there at some point. So what, however you decide to make your cast, whether it's a sidearm or a helicopter, you can't have a motion where your rod at all through the casting motion ends up pointing at that tree or else it will be predictable that it's going to go in it. So whenever you're making a cast, just pay attention to the, the arc and the, the path of your cast. Make sure that it's tracing around any potential issues and obstructions, and then you can avoid them. Let's see if I can do that one more time. All right, so one last water load up in there. We'll try the inside edge. I really hope you've enjoyed this little casting tip today. Get out there and practice it in some tight quarters. One of the things that's, that's awesome is that a lot of people just leave places like this alone simply because they're a little bit hard to fish if you don't have a cast that can get you in there without constantly hanging up. And we all love to lose flies, right? <laughs> Not. So give it a shot. Practice these casts. Maybe go practice them at home when, if you hook something, there's a fish right there. Practice them at home so that if you run into some trouble, it's in a tree at home where you can go and climb out and get your rig and you don't have to leave it there on the river. Ooh, nice fish. But go and fish these types of spots. You can see from this fish right here, they're worth it. But you got to practice a few things that will allow you to fish it. And uh, by having a few casts in your arsenal that will get you there, you're going to catch a lot more nice fish. They don't get fished to a lot because people avoid them just like this brown trout here. So if you like this video, please hit like. Give us a little thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. And uh, go practice a few casts to get you under trees and catch some more trout. Thanks for watching.